Welcome to Character Select. My name is Dave, and with me today is... Hello, I'm Matt. And we are playing Project Wingman. And there's a very specific reason we're playing Project Wingman. And that reason is, everybody that watches the Ace Combat 7 series leaves a comment saying, you guys need to play Project Wingman. And I'm tired of yeah, it. Yeah, please, please, <laughs> please play Wingman. So, hey, have you guys played Project Wingman yet? Hey, you okay. should totally check out Project Wingman. It's a lot like Ace Combat 7. It's actually really good. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there is a very good reason, and we both have the game, and yeah. Dave forgot, and I forgot. <laughs> well, there's also the fact that when Project Wingman originally came out, it was a roguelike. The, yeah. the conquest mode was the only mode, which is go as long as you can, get power-ups and stuff like that until yeah. you die. And that yeah. is an interesting, fun game, but also not really something worth recording. Now it's got a campaign, of which I have played approximately 19 minutes of. And that was like oh, three years ago. So, Matt hasn't played this at all, so we have no idea what to expect of this. Which, going into this completely blind. Yep. This can only go exceptionally well. Enemies more than willing to help me feel you. We're going to play on normal. Let's see how this goes. I do remember that this does look really good. Generations ago, a global cataclysmic event scorched the world whole. You know, as it does. Newly exposed and volatile material combined with an earth-shattering tectonic collapse, dismantling civilization whole. Used whole twice in two sentences, it's not good writing. The world order was destroyed. History as we know it changed forever. But from the ashes, a new era began. Hundreds of years have passed. They have. <laughs> Humanity is now in the time known as After Calamity. I nearly said the Succession Wars, but that's the wrong game. <laughs> AC-432, January 9th. Mercenary detail. So, Mercenary agency Sicario Corps. Hitman Team Squadron Number 1. Tack name Monarch. Hmm. So basically, we're flying modern day planes, but like 600 in years in the future. Yeah, essentially, essentially in what should be the year 2400, 2500. Our contract with this backwater place is just about to come to an end. And, well, thank God. <laughs> I don't mind a tropical vacation every once in a while. Smoke like a mercenary. Good, considering we're here to work. Anyway, one last thing before the defense minister releases our contract and we move on to bigger and better. The hey, Creole Manchin, Republic. You haven't gotten all that much airtime this deployment, so you're taking point with this operation. Okay. We have confirmed the location of the Burlock Privateer headquarters off the coast on the southwestern edge of the Jesta Island chain. They're a mercenary group like us who, unfortunately, have turned out right piracy. So not really a mercenary group According like us. Surveillance data, yeah, we have determined formerly a mercenary group, the yeah. ...high-profile hijacking of the Federation-registered cargo ship May Lynx. The May Lynx is supposedly carrying volatile cargo belonging to the Federation's Department of Global Energy and Sustainability Office. Nothing specific from the Federation contact about the cargo, however, our orders are to retrieve it if possible, or to neutralize it if we can't. Attempts to negotiate for it have turned up with nothing, so we're going in. Hitman team, you are to approach the island from the south along with support and establish control over the area. Okay. Your objective is to eliminate any surrounding anti-air and resistance on the island. After that, secure an LZ for our operator group Ronin to ascertain the cargo. Once Ronin lands, maintain air superiority until the next stage of the operation is determined. Be aware that the Burlocks have other Merc pilots on tap, so enemy reinforcements could be a factor. Normally, hmm. we'd stay out of contact with any Federation <coughs> adjacent taskings. But this is the last thing we need to do for a current contract, so I'll let it slide. Mm, kind of makes Two sense. Two birds with one stone. Easy enough, right? All right. Now get to work. Dismissed. Okay. Yeah, it's, the, it's the last bit on our tasking. Let's just get it over and done with so we can bugger off. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Okay, so... Don't know what we're flying with. No. Uh, nope. Okay, we T21. can fly a T-21, which is a MiG-21. Trainer. Uh, TF-4. These are trainers. Okay, so oh. we could fly a MiG-21, oh. or we could fly an F-E... F uh, an F-4, yeah. 
strike. So hang on, what weapon systems have we got? HISMs, MLAA, SAA, UGPS3, U UGPL, UGPS, HGP, multi-purpose. Oh wow, okay. Uh yeah, let's Oh you have to purchase it. Oh. Okay. That is a lot of bass to that drum. <laughs> That's quite a bit, yeah. Credits for a cat. Oh, you've spent all your money. I know, I'm just, but this only has one. Why would you buy this? Yeah. Alright. HISM, high impact standard missiles, MLA, multi lock anti air missiles, semi active anti air, or an empty hard point. Why would you go. Oh. High explosive gun pod? Ooh. Oh, I see. You click on the hard, hard point and then pick the weapon. Oh, okay. Right. So, so go back, because I think you picked empty hard point there, didn't you? Oh, okay, so we'll oh, put that in oh, there. Oh, okay, so you, you're selecting each individual one. So, right. hard point one. Now this is hard point two of three. Drops in triplicate? Ooh. But it's got much Unguided bomb ammo. small, triple volley, All right, large. we'll start with unguided bomb small. So, standard, standard machine gun, high impact missile, unguided bomb small, and... All right, and then this is slot three. We can do multi-lock anti-air or semi-active Sem anti-air. We're going to go multi-lock. Multi-lock. Uh, yeah. Flares. Color scheme, sure. All right. Large! <laughs> Just my one, Monarch. 1605. This game is very orange from what I remember. It's... Yeah. Oh, oh God. All right, hold on a second. There's a problem going on here. The uh, the controls FOV are, is a little. Bit, oh, the, the, the controls, controls are, are also funky. Oh, like that's why it's like twitching. Ah, okay. We have sensitivity issues. A little bit. Uh, t -t -t curves and dip. look how fucking much of this there is. Wow. Jesus. Twenty-five percent did so. Jeez. I do like the color scheme. Interesting camouflage. It is. Just about diplomat. Hitman one, take your flight. Diplomat. Interesting name for a pilot. You are free to engage. All right. So this is thrust. Okay, what is going on here? Jesus Christ! Uh oh. Sorry, it's Te something is making difficulty select. Well, something is making everything twitchy, and I don't fucking like it. It's not your mouse or something, is it? it uh, you'd think so, but it's not because the mouse isn't even active. Oh, yeah, mouse aim is on. Mm. Five minutes later. Oh. I did not have access oh. to any aircraft. Yeah, you have to start with the trainer. So, let's try this first. Okay, I think I, fi I found it. I found a map. You have to go and look at the view, padlock, x-axis, and y-axis, and change their dead zones, because they're at 10%. Much better, much better. Okay, we're back, Matt. Whee! Sucks to be you. Stacked up. Matt, you with me? Matt! Oh, I just realized that my controller has kidnapped all of my yes. things. So if you were talking to me, I I'd know! Okay, the, the contrails coming off of the plane are really cool. Yeah. You can hear me now? Right. I can hear you now. I've unplugged my controller. I hate that they do, do uh, that. Make sure that you're still recording your audio, though. Testing, testing. Yeah, 
Yes, we're still recording. So, okay. I found out what the problem was. I fixed it. Whoa, fuck that guy. Oh, he's dead. For anybody that's wondering why I'm not doing in cockpit view, it's because the fucking cockpit of the F4 is terrible. Yes. Look at this shit. Look at this nightmare. I can't see shit. The 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 F4 was one of those jets that came around at the time of like, oh, you won't need guns. You won't need to be able to see because everything will be done by computer and radar and all of this. Oh Whee! wow, that is. That is a... Ow, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> You flew too low. Pink. Yeah, I will have to um, try and set mine up at that time. Oh no, it's a PT boat. What happens when a piece of wooden steel gets hit by a missile? Same thing that happens to everything else. Uh, boom. Okay, the explosions look good. Look at the fucking contrails. They do. Jesus. Yeah, that is quite cool. And you can see all the trails of the other jets as well. Oh, aircraft. It's alright. That's a mess. Oh, it's nearly yourself. It's probably fine. BC4S. Oh, remember, these are all fictional aims, too. Woo! I was, just trying, I was just trying to see what they actually were. Oh, that I could tell you. Missile away. It's alright, we're. 400 and something odd years into the future in a fictional world, but we're still using jets from Vietnam. Era. Well, you know what they say, good ideas <laughs> keep coming back, right? I mean, just look at uh, Mech Warrior Battletech, like the, uh, the venerable Thunderbolt. How long has that chassis been in service for? About 500 years? Oh, shit. Oh, Ooh. jet scrambling. Ooh. No taking off without a, without prior approval, sir. Did not clear. Radar check. Sucks for you. Nope. That's a lot of planes. Buddy, you haven't killed a thing yet. Hello! Goodbye! Oh, it flared! Oh, that was... that was cheeky. Oh, that's stinks. Yeah, it's alright. FC-15. Really? Damn. Yeah. Let's kill it. On it. Pop goes the weasel. That actually looked really cool. The way he fucking <laughs> tried to pick off missiles, that was really cool. Yeah. I've launched flares. Too late! Wait, did he actually go down into the water? Or was that a missile? It, it, no, that was his engine. Boom! Oh. He was so low to the water, his engines were kicking up water. That is goodbye. Oh wow, look at that. Jeez. What? Oh, he is actually going down that burning. That is really cool. I mean, horrible for that guy, but you know, really cool otherwise. Yeah. It's another Captain Davenport. Sir, your F-16, or F-15 just got shot down by a goddamn F-4. You should be ashamed. <laughs> Taking shrapnel. Oof. Your, your planes should never be so close together you take shrapnel from the one next to you. Unless you really weren't paying attention. Um, uh, yeah, unless you really weren't paying really attention. Cool, actually. That one. <laughs> oh! Uh, ripped him. He'd already been hit, so... Ooh, free targets. Oops. Comic. That's probably fine. Right, uh, one moment, putting the contact on the line. 
<laughs> Suddenly everybody gets very we nervous. Everything you've witnessed is confidential by Federation decree. Destroy it. Copy that. Rogue exfiltrate. You heard that, Monarch? Highlight a new target on your IFF. Blow it when they're out. Alright, but I got some other targets. <laughs> Way ahead of you Hold on. <laughs> Way ahead of you, Galaxy, in other words. Yeah, we took one look at that, decided nope, and wanted to get the hell out of there. Enemy destroyed! High value target. Going by how quickly they all wanted to get away from that. I don't know if you want to be that close. That's fine. Take care of. It's fine. No, it's not. No, it's not. The only part of this that I remember. Uh, objectives complete, Hitman. RTB at your leisure. <laughs> Called Hitman. Fuck off. Interesting. <laughs> Sounds like money to me. <laughs> All right. Master Goose One and the other and the uh, President Harling's plane was Mother mm -hmm. Goose One. That's not by accident. This game is very much inspired by Ace Combat. Yeah. From this contract, and our opportunities yeah. in this region have just about dried up. If no one objects, and your contract with Sicario is still in effect. Pack your bags. I looked a little into the Cascadian situation, and I believe we'll make a little something of ourselves there. All right. Well, hmm. uh, next time on Character Select, more Project Wingman and less technical difficulties. Yeah, hopefully less technical difficulties. All, all, all counts. <laughs> <laughs>